Let me tell you something. God is about to flip the switch. Okay, you guys, are you hearing me? God says he is about to flip the switch. All right, you guys, are you ready for today's message? I am. Let's go. Let's get into it. It's your girl, Hello, 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 everybody. This your girl, Rome back. Back with another message. Back with another word. Back with another prophecy. Yes, you guys. Yes, you guys. I am back and I'm back as promised as you guys can see. Yes, new do, new me. You guys, I was, you know, I did say I was going to keep my little braids in for two weeks, but that, that wasn't, mm -mm. it wasn't given. So your girl had to get, get her a little jerry curl look anyway you guys are you ready so first days first i have received a comment i was about to call it negative but it was not negative at all because what it was designed to do was to hurt me what it was designed to do was to make me feel bad about doing god's work okay and let me tell you how god flipped that switch now immediately i wanted to respond to the individual and say what first let's start with what they said i'm gonna put the comment right here yes they call me crazy they say you i think they say i'm sick something to the effect of being crazy okay at first i'm like let me respond to this person but i did respond my response was i think i said thank you and i'm gonna keep praying for you right god began to talk to me god said girl stop don't let that upset you don't let that get to me because jesus was persecuted jesus was persecuted when he was given god's messages giving the good news of god this person made this comment under something that's supposed to be positive a word or a message that i am delivering from god okay they said that i'm crazy and that's fine I want you to think I'm crazy, all right? Because a lot of you are stuck in man world. You're stuck into man's world. Y'all stuck. Matter of fact, this person's ad name. Do y'all see the ad name? Come on. How can you call yourself a Christian or believe in Christ, and yet you bringing your 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 supposed to be brothers and sisters down? And let me tell you, God said. Jesus was persecuted. God said, you're doing something right because you're touching people who didn't think that they would be touched. Okay. And the fact that they called out, they, the fact that they tried to call you out is saying that my message, God is saying my message, not his, not me, but his message is getting across to the right people because he didn't want, he, I'm not supposed to be speaking to those who already got it together. I'm speaking to those who is in process of getting together. Those who don't know how to get it together. Those, those of you who don't know how to come to Christ on your own. God wants me to help you. Okay. And two things I want to show you how God flipped that script now. Cause I was like, Lord, how, what I'm going to say today? Cause I was feeling a little like, Hey, Am I sound a little crazy? God said, no. You keep delivering your word how I say deliver it. You keep being you. This is your personality. People, they, ain't, they not going to understand it. But they going to they, they gonna hear me. They're not going to understand you. But they going to hear me. And that's all that matters. Okay? So, before I uh, started recording this, I went to the store and I brought some something out the store. And I got a dollar bag. Now, I'm looking at the dollar. I'm like, what is this red mark on this dollar? Right? So, it says, in God we trust, right, on the dollar itself. But the stamp, someone stamped it and it said, Jesus is coming. Are you ready? Okay? That's going to be my next topic. But Jesus is coming. Are you ready? Romans 10 and 9. We're going to talk about that. So, for those, for, for the person who took it upon himself to call me a little cray cray i accept it trust me i accept that because you gave me the motivation i need to keep going all right i accept that but jesus is coming and are you ready stay tuned for the next video okay 
but we about to get into this word. So the, the title of today's message is, we're going back to our handy dandy devotionals, you guys. Dandy dandy devotional. Flip the switch. God is saying on October the 15th, I'm going to let you see it. Flip the switch. Flip the switch, okay? And the Bible verse that is coming from is Proverbs 4, 18 through 19. And I'm going to read the Bible verse, and then I'm going to get into the devotional. It says, the lovers of God walk on the highway of light, and their way shines. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We got to pray. We got to pray. I'm going to tell you why, but I'm going to read the scripture. The lovers of God walk on the highway of light and their way shines brighter and brighter until they bring forth the perfect day. But the wicked walk in thick darkness like those who travel in fog and yet don't have a clue why they keep stumbling. <laughs> God just flipped that script, okay? The script was, I'm crazy. The script was, I don't know what I'm talking about. The script was, what are you doing? But God flipped that script. God is saying to you, whoever you are, whoever whoever you are who think that I am crazy, he's flipping that script and he's letting you know. You stumbled across my video because my light was shining so bright that you had the audacity, the audacity to click it and watch. God gave you the word or message that you needed to hear. That was for you, sweetheart. I'm crazy for speaking to you on what you need to do with you. And you're mad. You're big mad. And it's okay. I will continue to pray for you. I will continue to ask God to lead you and guide you. I will continue to ask God to give you confirmation. I will continue to ask God to give you discernment. I will continue to ask God to give you understanding. Matter of fact, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Heavenly Father, for this opportunity that I have here today to speak to your people, God. I ask you, Heavenly Father, that you remove me and replace me with you so that your people can understand that the word or message that is being set before them is not coming from me, but it is coming from you, God. I ask you, Heavenly Father, that those who come on this video that are doubtful, that are negative, that reject your word, God, that you step in God that you step in and you cast out any demonic spirit any evilness or any misdoing or anything that's trying to come and destroy our message in your name I pray amen and amen okay so you're not gonna come back on here with that mess okay you keep it somewhere else but the devotional reads have you ever walked through your home at night thinking that you can make it without turning on a light only to stumble on something unexpectedly set in your path when you cannot see where you're where you are going you are likely to get tripped up on the other hand your way is obvious when you simply turn on the light are you choosing the light is your path brightly lit or are you standing in total darkness if so then flip the switch god is saying Flip the switch. Pray that you will make wise choices. Seek his wisdom for your life. He wants you to shine brightly for you. Let him in and he will gladly be your eternal light, illuminating your days. God, give me wisdom so that I walk in your light today. Keep me from stumbling. Father God, please, Jesus, keep me from stumbling. I want to stay in your light. I want to continue to walk with you, Jesus. I want to. I want you to continue to lead me, guide me, direct my path, God, order my steps, God. Please, Jesus, we need peace, patience, and understanding each and every day with what is going on around us, Jesus. We need love. We need support. We need a lot of things, God, that we're we're not seeing. We're not seeing it in the physical, but in the spiritual realm, God, we're asking you to bless us. We're asking you to bless us. In your name, I pray. Amen. Man, I had to do a second prayer on that, but 
I had to, I got to bring up this persecution again because this person then, then, then ignited, ignited something deep down in my spirit and you gave me what I needed and I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And so in the Bible, the Lashians 1 and 3 is what we're going to read. 1 and 3 and we're going to read from verses 1 through 5 really quick, okay? And it's the encouragement of Timothy's visit, okay? So I want to encourage you guys. I'm encouraging. God wants me to encourage you because I'm not the only one who is being attacked, okay? I'm not the only one who people are doubting. I'm not the only one who people are looking at as if something is really wrong with them because of their obedience to God, because of them pushing through and get, spreading the good news, okay? I'm not the only one. The Bible says it. The Bible says it. I am not the only one. It's been going on for many, 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 many years. And it makes me feel really good to know that I'm in the number, that I'm a chosen one. Because, oh God, mm, these people are famous. These people of the Bible are very famous. And I now I'm starting to feel like I'm a little famous. People look at fame as having all the money in the world. People see fame as everybody knowing who you are. But God is saying they're going to know who you are. They're going to know your name. Your name will be famous. But I'm going to go ahead and read really quick and get you out the way. Verse 1. Therefore, when we could no longer endure our separation from you, we thought it best to be left behind alone at Athens. And so we sent Timothy, our brother and God's servant, in spreading the good news of Christ to strengthen and encourage you, exhorting, comforting, and establishing you in regard to your faith, so that no one would be unsettled by these difficulties to which I have referred. For you know that we have been destined for this as something unavoidable in our position. For even when we were with you, we warned you plainly in advance that we were going to experience persecution. And so as you know, it has come to pass. Okay. For this reason, when I could no longer endure the suspense, I sent someone to find out about your faith, how you were holding up under pressure for fear that someone the tempter had tempted you and our work among you would prove to be ineffective the end that's all i got to say about that god is saying to you you are trying to tempt me to stop doing his work and it will not work it will not hold up because God is in me. No one can be against me. No one can come and try to harm me. Well, maybe you can try, but no one can stop me. God is good. God is real. God is amazing. I want to encourage you to not give up. Do not fold under pressure. Flip that switch. Turn that light on. Let your light shine and see where God is taking you. That's it. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notifications bell. And as always, be a blessing to others. Bye.